Welcome to the seventh episode of our series, The Mother Earth. In this episode, we will look into the initial process of melting in the gaseous nebulae of the terrestrial planets, which is being referred to as the pre-planetary melting. For this, an analogy has been drawn based on information gathered by space missions about the possible process of melting and gravity separation undergone by the portion of the solar matter which constituted the large asteroid Vesta. In episode 6, we learnt that Vesta is the only large asteroid which has a FENI rich dense core. Density of Fe, you know, 7.87 grams per cc and that of nickel is 8.9 grams per cc. Its core is of nearly 220 kilometers radius, much smaller than that of Mars, about 2000 kilometers in radius. Why this comparison with Mars? It is because Mars happens to be the nearest terrestrial planet to Vesta. Also, because the bulk density of Vesta, 3.42 grams per cc, though lower, is somewhat comparable to that of Mars, 3.93 grams per cc. And since Mars has the lowest density amongst all solid planets. In comparison to Vesta and Mars, the Earth achieved a very large core. It is of about 3,600 kilometers, nearly half its entire radius. In episode 1, we learnt that the bulk density of Earth is 5.52 grams per cc. Thus, the size of the FENI core and the bulk density both decrease from Earth to Mars and towards Vesta, located in the asteroid zone. The density of Vesta's crustal material, 2.7 to 3.0 grams per cc, indicates that it increases or rises inside towards its core. The same is displayed also by the density of material inside Mars and inside Earth. The average density of the Martian crust material is estimated to be of 2.6 grams per cc, quite similar to the average density of material constituting the upper crust of the Earth as well as of the Moon. What is then our important inference? The density of material constituting these planetary bodies increases inwards towards their course. It has been later proved also by the study of HED meteorites and by seismic studies. The density of material constituting Vesta's mantle has been revealed by the HED meteorites detected amongst the achondrites on Earth. HED stands for all the varieties in this group, Howardite, Eucrite, Diogenite, distinguished from each other by the proportions of MGFE in silicates of the olivine and pyroxene groups constituting them. Their densities also vary accordingly from 3.0 to 3.5 grams per cc, higher with the Fe content of their silicates. The variation amongst the varieties of HED meteorites is somewhat similar to that in the dunite, peridotite, 
pyroxenite group of terrestrial rocks. The different compositions amongst the HED achondrites also point towards their sequential crystallization from a melt. It is quite similar to the compositional transition amongst the chondrites and the iron meteorite, which also furnishes a definite evidence of differentiation during crystallization and gravity separation from a melt. The HED constitute about 60% of all achondrites. The rest 40% of the achondrites fractionated more or less in a similar way, but directly from the chondritic composition of the remnant clouds of the solar nebulae that reached the asteroid zone. The achondrites themselves comprise only about 8% of the total falls. Studying the HED compositions, it has been inferred that they represent actually the fragments dislodged from Vesta's mantle region. These fragments were blown out from Vesta's mantle by a more recent collision of another planetary body on Vesta's surface about a billion years ago. Vesta acquired its mantle much prior to this impact, following the separation of its FENI rich core from a melt. Because of their high density, the two elements Fe and Ni sank towards the center and the core regions when melting began in the nebula that form the asteroid Vesta. The sinking of these elements initiated also the process of mass concentration towards Vesta's core. Drawing the analogy, it is visualized that such gravity sinking of these two metallic elements initiated also the formation of the cores of planetary nebulae. Consequent to the study of iron meteorites, chondrites, and the achondrites, the process of igneous fractionation in them became evident. The FENI rich compositions of the cores of these planetary bodies has been compared now with the composition of the iron meteorites. Recalling what we learned about the fusion reactions in stars and the nucleosynthesis of elements, the two elements Fe and Ni with even mass numbers near 56 possess the nuclei with peak binding energy. The nuclei of all other elements have lower binding energy than those of Fe and Ni and hence have lower abundance in the solar nebula thrown out during the supernova explosion. Consequently, the two elements have been the most abundant elements in the solar nebula masses from which the planets were formed. Their abundance in the solar nebula was lower only than the two primordial elements, hydrogen and helium. Numerous other small asteroids in the vicinity of Vesta's orbit are also FENI rich, detected amongst the falls on the Earth's surface and identified as the iron meteorites. The solar nebulae 
became poorer in their FENI content towards Mars and Vesta, and the two elements almost disappeared further in the asteroid belt towards the gaseous planets. The early process of copious internal melting caused downward sinking of FENI and simultaneous upward migration of the remaining melt from which crystallized the MGFE silicates to attain the HED composition. The multi-layered basalt flows on Vesta's surface point out that the still remaining mantle material in Vesta was fertile enough to repeatedly generate the basaltic melts that erupted. The smaller asteroids, V-type asteroids, surrounding Vesta also underwent internal melting and igneous process of gravity separation. A recent paper of March 2021 by Jean Alex Barra and his co workers report andesitic composition for the achondrite found in the Algerian Sahara. It indicates that many non HED achondrites crystallize directly from the chondritic matter that reached the asteroid belt. Unlike the Earth, Mars and Vesta are dormant planetary bodies. Research reports gathered through space missions establish that the matter inside Vesta continued to be molten in pockets of its mantle only for the first 30 million years of the solar system. In this episode, we have learnt that the cores of the asteroid Vesta and the planets Mars and the Earth are FENI rich. The cores of these planetary bodies are formed by downward sinking of these two elements from a melt. The size of the cores decreases from Earth to Mars and to Vesta. The bulk density of these planetary bodies also decreases simultaneously. The elements FENI available in the solar nebulae diminish towards Mars and Vesta and they almost disappear further towards the other asteroids and gaseous planets. The small asteroids in the vicinity of Vesta also underwent similar process of crystallization from a melt of chondritic composition that gave rise to the FENI rich iron meteorites. It is inferred that the composition of the iron meteorites should be the composition of the material forming the cores of terrestrial planets. The extraordinary presence of FENI in the formation of planetary bodies is consequent to their peak abundance in the solar nebula dissipated by the supernova explosion. We will look further into the process of pre-planetary melting in the next episode. Thank you very much.